Hi, my name is Tracy Weiss with Revelation 19 Ministries. I'm excited today to just bring you some uh, snapshots, you know, just some short videos uh, we're going to be talking about from the cross to Pentecost and what exactly happened. Why uh, did Jesus have to go through what he had to go through? We already just celebrated Passover and, um, you know, where when the Egyptians uh, you know, we're holding God's people, the Israelites, in bondage. And Moses came to deliver the Israelites from all the bondage uh, that they were going through. You know, God told Moses to tell Pharaoh, let my people go. This is a foreshadow of how it is for today, even today in this world. You know, we are in bondage without Jesus Christ. And I, I just want to uh, talk to you uh, today just a little bit about salvation and what it means to be truly born of God. Why did Jesus have to die on the cross? Such a horrific death. And what are we looking forward to when Pentecost is coming right around the corner? Uh, excited, uh, May 31st, we're going to be opening our Revive and Refresh meeting, hopefully in 603 Penn Avenue at the ballroom because we know that churches are opening up and we're excited to get out there with the ecclesia for the with the people of God to lift the name of Jesus high up exalt him uh, higher than anything or anyone and we're just so excited to see if people will come out we're thankful that it's a big ballroom and we're just we're just so excited to come together with believers of course safely and slowly and respecting each other's spaces but we just want you to know that we're a, we're believing to have just an outpouring of the holy spirit like never before we're believing for people to be touched so much by the power of god the presence of jesus christ that fear would leave in just one second you know we carry the habitation of god when we are born again god comes to live inside our very being we contact god through our spirit man when he comes to live inside of us and this only could happen if we are born of God, we can only enter into such a great prayer time or have any connection with Him at all, only by the power of God's Spirit connecting with our spirit and then connecting us to heaven and heavenly things. The Bible says that He's given us every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm. We really had nothing like we have now until Jesus Christ went to the cross, he laid down all his divinity here on earth, walked as a man here, laid down all his divinity, uh, fully man and fully God. He was, uh, his father was, he was born by the Holy Spirit. I mean, isn't that just a miracle right there that Mary was pregnant by the Holy Spirit and Jesus was born uh, with, he, he came into this world just like every human being came into this world, how to grow up and learn and find out who he is. And, and, and Jesus walked and never sinned. His blood, when his blood was shed on the cross, he was sinless, but he walked as a man and was tempted in every single way that we could think of about being tempted here on this earth. You mean God sustained him just like he sustains us today. God sustained him. Even when he was in the garden and he was on his knees, he, he was praying to the Father, asking, can, can this cup pass by him? But he was in the will of God. The will of God for Jesus when he walked on the earth is he was born to die because his love for us was so great beyond comprehension that because of the fall, way back in the garden, nobody could be born of God. This is spectacular. This is so spectacular that God himself, this is the grace of God. He comes in to live inside of us. The grace of God, almighty God, by his spirit, the Father and the Son dwell in our hearts. By his spirit, he comes in to our very being and lives inside of us. 
We connect to God in all spiritual things, everything to do with God or any spiritual things by the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us. We connect to Him by God, by God the Holy Spirit. And I just want you to know that it's not just for me. It's for you too. It's for you to be fully filled to overflowing with God's Spirit. Well, the, the Bible says that when we uh, repent and turn to God and, and uh, you know, we turn from the way that we thought, repentance is change the way you think. That's what it means. This isn't a religion. This is relationship with Jesus Christ by His Spirit. If anything would happen to you, even right now, in these times, that unfortunately anything would come your way, the sickness and disease, you know, or, or you know, maybe you're elderly, you're, you know, it's time for you to pass on. You don't want to leave this earth ever without fully knowing by the Spirit of God that God, Jesus lives inside of you, that when you pass from heaven, from earth to heaven, uh, or you leave this place here on earth, that you go to heaven. You spend eternity with Him. But even right now, we can have Him living inside of us. Listen to this verse. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of His great love, with which He loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Can I hear an amen for anyone that's listening to this video? But God who is rich in mercy loved us. He sent his only son into this world to die a horrific death so his blood could be shed because he was sinless. I just want to let you know, cross to Pentecost. Pentecost is coming May 31st and the Holy Spirit's going to be poured out. But to have the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit to be poured out like it is on the day of Pentecost, you have to know that you don't have to be in a church right now. You have to know that you have to change the way you think and this word has to become alive inside your very heart. You have to believe what I'm saying beyond a shadow of a doubt. But God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, that means the Bible says in John 5 that we, we came from death to life in Christ. That even though we walk on this earth and we're alive and we're walking around and we're feeling healthy and all that, all that we think that we are, we don't, need, we don't know that we need to be born of God. He needs to come and live inside of us. But God sent His only Son. And this is what He's saying. His mercy. This is something that He did for us so we could receive the grace of God. That He could come in and live inside of us. The grace of God. That's Him in His fullness. The riches of His grace. The riches of His glory. Him manifesting Himself within us. This is a miracle that God that created all heaven and earth died a horrific death on this earth, I mean on the cross, so he could come and live inside of us and live forever in eternity. But watch, we were dead, so that means that we weren't alive in Christ. We didn't care about spiritual things. 1 Corinthians 2 says we don't care about spiritual things without having the Holy Spirit. You can only discern what God wants to say. You can only hear his still small voice. The Bible says in John 10, my sheep hear my voice and they do not listen to a stranger's voice. What's going on out there today? What do we truly believe what's going out on out there in all the media and you know the left, the right, what people are saying, how many coronaviruses are there, how many are there not? The Bible says, keep your eyes and your heart fixed on things above, not earthly things. This is what it says right here in Colossians 3. The Bible says in Colossians 3, 1, 4, since then you have been raised with Christ. See, when he died on the cross and he went in the grave 
and he rose again in three days. Yes, this is what you have to believe. If you want to be saved and live forever and eternity, you have to believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. But the Bible says one step more, that you actually are crucified and buried with him, and that you, would, you are raised again with his resurrection power. See, the resurrection power that we have, according to Romans 8, that's in us, the same resurrection power that rose Jesus from the dead, is inside of us. And so we live from a resurrected, ascended position. See, it was God's mercy, His love that saved our soul, that we're saved by grace. That's all He is, all He's done, all that He is in and through us. We are the expression of God Almighty from within. So Colossians 3 says this, since you have been raised with Christ, because we have the resurrection power that raised Jesus from the dead, and God says that we're not only buried with Jesus. Now I'm just going to say this is a spiritual, um, a spiritual thing that you have to understand. That even though it happened over 2,000 years ago, God says that we were buried with him. This was in baptism in Romans 6. We're going to continue in this in the next video. But Romans 6 says that we were buried with him, crucified with Christ. And that we no longer live. But as much as we were buried with him, we rose up again. And he rose and we, we rose. We're resurrected with him in heavenly places. That's what the Bible says. He says, you've been raised with Christ. Set your heart on things above where Christ is. Seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. Now listen, how is Christ seated at the right hand of God? and also inside of me and perhaps inside of you because we connect to God and all that he has for us in us and through us through the spirit man inside when God comes to live inside of us we have all access it says come boldly into the throne room of God right now in your time in, in, in your time of need come boldly into the throne room of grace God says we have complete access to him. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. Now listen to this. It says, for you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. What he's talking about is my spiritual life in your spiritual life. God, this is, this is just amazing beyond measure. The heavenly perspective. All these spiritual blessings that we have right now. It says in Ephesians 1, 3 that we have every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. It says that we have the fruit of the Spirit. He says there's nine gifts of the Spirit. Words of wisdom and words of knowledge and, and gifts of faith, gifts of healing. These great things the Holy Spirit wants to pour out all over you and all over us. He just wants to pour himself out and give us everything that Jesus paid for. See, it's, it's from the cross to Pentecost. We only have the Holy Spirit because Jesus Christ died. He had to die a horrific death, shed his blood, all the sins of the whole entire world, guilt and shame, everything was laid on Jesus Christ, our incredible Savior, but we're in his Lordship. We've made him Lord, so we're in his Lordship. And so I want to end with just this one thing. I want you to know that he says, For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ and God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. This is awesome. You want to, you want to get into the uh, spiritual things in your life. You want to know how to connect to God. And we're excited. We're taking these, these series from the cross to Pentecost so you can understand spiritual things. We just want to say go out to rev19.org and we would love to pray for you. And um, I'm just commanding right now in the name of Jesus, with the authority of Jesus, for sickness and disease to leave. Have a great night in Jesus' name.